Yeah, so I'm going to show you an interesting way to view game walkthroughs and other text files on your iPod Touch or iPhone. As you've probably noticed, if you're an avid gamer looking for quick walkthroughs and tips, using GameFAQ and other sites on uh, Safari isn't that great. It's hard to access the files, and you can't really search within them, or it doesn't save your place when you reload the application, and you got to scroll through everything again, and it kind of sucks. So I'm going to show you uh, an interesting way I came up with uh, dealing with this. So we're going to use the application called Stanza. This is a freely available application for both the uh, iPhone and iPod Touch as well as the uh, desktop for Windows or Mac. I'll provide download links in, my, in the sidebar there. Uh, there are plenty of other e-reader softwares out there that offer similar functionality, but I find this is a very nice reader, and this works pretty simple, pretty simply. All you need is a wireless network, and you have to have your iPod or iPhone connected to the same wireless network as your PC. And there's various workarounds on the website as well, but I'm just going to show you the simplest way, which most people probably have. You want to... First, go to GameFAQ or the site of your choice and pick your walkthrough. I have one of Jedi Knight 2 here. And you want to copy it out to uh, Notepad. So, easiest way here is to select the line. Since it doesn't, GameFAQ doesn't open up straight text files anymore. Hold Shift, click on the bottom. Control and C to copy it over to Notepad. And now you have everything here. Just save it as some kind of text file on your desktop. Go with JK2, whatever. Okay, so now you go, <clears throat> you open up Stanza, you go to your file menu, open file, and select your JK2, or the text file of your choice. Stanza will open it up. It takes a moment, formats it a little bit, but it doesn't really break anything too heavily. Okay, and then you want to make sure you go to Tools and allow enable sharing. And I just checked this one anyway, I'm not sure if you need it or not. Just enable both of those. And then Okay, so you go to your iPod Touch, your iPhone, and you open up Stanza. And this is the main screen that you'll see when you open it up. And all you have to do is go down here to Shared Books. Now keep in mind this has to be done while your iPod is on the same network as your PC. And you'll see Books on your computer's name. And all you have to do is click on there. Now, this will automatically show anything that's open in Stanza. You can have multiple text files or any book open at once on Stanza on your PC, and it will show you a list of every single f file that's open. Since it's only a plain text file, it's going to display unknown. That's okay. So in this case, we only have the one file open, so all you have to do is tap on that, and it'll ask you if you want to download it. So go ahead. And after that's done... You click that little blue arrow, and you can even uh, you can go through it. You can go through it. It looks like a it looks like a book. It's pretty nice. Of course, the main uh, attraction to using it like this is now you can uh, search. You can search through uh, the text for whatever you need to find quickly, like so. And you can set bookmarks, which is a great thing. If you tap, you get a few options there. Go to bookmarks. You get a, the table of contents will be useless too since it was a plain text file. But you can go to bookmarks, and if you click the little plus here, you can add. I can automatically name it for you. It'll tell you the percentage you're in, or you can just you can set as many as you want wherever you want. So when you reopen the application and you want to find a part quickly, it's great. And apart from that, I mean, this is a great reader. It just it's just nice to to flip through the pages and everything instead of scrolling through some long crap and brightness up and down. And if you want to rename your file so that everything's not unknown, top little eye up there, and you can edit the title and everything. Put a cover image if you want to be cool. 
And that's about it, really. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good way. I just, I just randomly thought I had this application on my, on my iPhone. I never use it. So I will uh, find something to do with it. It actually mostly came after frustration with trying to figure out a way to look at facts on here. There's some application on, on iTunes that's Game Facts Search. I, I haven't tried it. I don't want to pay a dollar to find out. And that's about it. If you have any trouble with this, or you want some inf extra information, just uh, comment or something, or email me, and I'll uh, do my best to give you a hand. Thanks for watching.